black people apparently love to shoot other black people. <laughs> <laughs> so would you prefer there be no black people? No, I don't care one way you or the care. other. I, I don't want to be around them. Sure. I am not real comfortable because we're different, but you, you will hear people, if they're honest, talking about how they're loud. White people, wiggers, try and uh, act black. They look <laughs> silly. <laughs> what was the term? Wigger. So what does that mean? A white? Yes. <laughs> black people apparently love all oh, praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rikah Kodash, that belongs to the Elder Apostle Great Millstone, taught us this truth, peace and salutations to the brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that's doing the work that Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah commanded us to do. So you heard this uh, video here, this is one of the YouTube shorts that I'm mostly, uh, I've been on a, 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 a run as far as doing and listening to them, and this is going to be a short video, so you heard the so-called white man said that you know we're different you know let, let's 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 hear him again to shoot other black people <laughs> <laughs> no he said black people like to shoot other black people what about white people loving to shoot other white people and kill other white people okay see that's the narrative that they push you know on uh you know uh TV and news, you know, you see that on the news, you know, nine times. I, well, I know growing up, it's just see a lot of shootings and, you know, Crips and Bloods and gangbangers and, and all of these things that that go on on the news, with, you know, is uh, started by Esau Edom. He's that man of perdition, the man who, you know, uh, plays on your uh your emotions you know through you know tv and and you know he drops guns off you know in the in in, in the bad parts of the neighborhood and you know i know for instance i remember seeing one in chicago where the guy was on youtube saying how they used to find crates of uh uh army guns in the alleyway Okay, and you know the drug scene. You know they they put all those things out there, but you know you never hear about that. You just hear about you know uh, us as being the worst of the worst. You know, and you know it is what it is. You know, he, he saw Edom is a liar. Okay, uh, what's what's the scripture? Job nine and. It said he's a liar. Uh, let me see. Uh, Job 13 and uh, uh, four, 13 and 4. Let's see if we can grab it. Uh, let's go. Blue letter. Let's go. Well, matter of fact, let's just. Well, yeah, we'll go with the blue letter. Let's go to Job um, chapter four, 13. In verse 4, it says, But ye are forgers of lies, ye are physicians of no value. Okay, so this is talking about Esau Eden, the so called white man. He's a forger of lies, and ye are all, all physicians of no value. Okay, and that's going into his, uh, you know, his uh, pharmaceuticals. Okay, so, you know, and, you know, it's easy to manipulate the so-called, you know, so-called white people, you know. All you got to do is put it out there on the news and they run it with it, you know. No background or research or history, you know. They just rolling with it. <laughs> so would you prefer there be no black people? No, I don't care one way or the care. other. I, I don't want to be around them. Sure. I am not real comfortable because we're different, but you, you will hear. We are different, okay. And uh, that, that brings me to Genesis, uh, is it 25 and 25? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Let's start at verse 24. Genesis chapter 25 and verse 24 says, And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her, in her womb. It says, And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and his name was Esau. And here we have him right here. Okay. He's the descendant from Esau. 
It says, and after came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau Hill, and his name was called Jacob, and Isaac was three scores years old when she buried them. Okay. It says, the boys grew. Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. See, Jacob is the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American uh, dwelling in tents. Let's see where uh, they give us anything. That says intense. It says, uh, uh, let's see. I ain't really giving you nothing on that. It's just going into, it says, to be clear, shine, uh, primitive root, to be clear and shine. Okay. Let's see what they have for shine. Let's look that up and see what's going on with that. It says, shine of the sun of another source of light. Give out a bright light, direct flashlight or other light where somewhere in the other uh, emitted light and polish. You know, they used to call it a shine, you know, back in uh, uh, hardcore slavery, okay? Uh, I thought it was going to go into detail. Okay, here we go. Strong's definition. It says, a tent. That's clearly conspicuous from a distance covering dwelling place. Home tabernacle, okay? So that's us, man. We want, we, we, we're home bodies, man. Okay? It says the place where one lives permanently, especially as a member of a family or, uh, or household. Okay, so there you have it. So Esau was a hunter, okay, and Jacob, okay, was a plain man. And you know what a hunter is, he's, he's in the field, and that's Esau Edom. That's the difference between the so-called white man and the so-called black or Hispanic and Native American man, which is one nation of people, which are the Israelites, okay? Let's listen on. Oh, hell. I would fuck that up, but uh, let's see if we can find it. I don't think I'd probably be able to find that again, but yeah, man. So <laughs> I, I believe what was the other thing he said. So I, I, I see he said we was loud. So you know, and, and your house shot was loud. Okay, he said he had a voice of many waters. Okay, uh, how does the scripture go? I thought it was. That's it. Uh, Revelation 1 and... Oh, I thought it was 1 and... There we go. It says, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a great voice of a trumpet. <laughs> and that's Yahweh Shai. Uh, Yahweh Shai says, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Samaria, Samaria, and to uh, Pergamos, and, uh, and to... Uh, Tyra and to Sardis and to Philadelphia and to uh, Lotus here. Okay, so but the point is the Most High had, or the Most High Son and the Most High, you know, has a loud voice. And here's, a, here's another one. Revelation 15 and 1 and 15, it says, And his feet were like unto fine brass, as if they burned in the furnace, and his voice is the sound of many waters. Okay, so, you know, that's all I wanted to touch on, you know, because we the Lord's people, you know, we're loud, you know, uh, 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 <clears throat> you know, we are, uh, what was the, some of the other things we hit on, you know, we, we're plain man, you know, when Esau is, uh, is sneaking and cunning and is a liar and, uh, uh, he's red, <laughs> all low like a hairy garment. Okay, so that was just something, you know, quick. And jump on, you know, like the guy said, we different, man. 
We're a different set of people. So with that being said, shout out to the whole folk. Till next time.